Today, it's a sad, sad day for physical media. After today, another HMV will be gone. My local HMV is closing. The sign does say it is relocating in the area, but I can't see anywhere where this would actually go. <gasps> Again, Carl. I have. I keep having that dream of that video I've done six months ago. The HMV is closed. I'll read that for goodness sake. What's this? Woo! It's back! Yeah, baby! everyone thank you so much for joining me my name is Carl today's video is all about that shop we all know and love HMV six months ago was a very sad day our local HMV closed down it was quite a big HMV as well leaving nowhere to buy physical media in this area you could go to cex but they're not brand new are they so the only place to go was really 15 20 miles out the way or buy online so i was kind of i bought a few things online but i kind of stepped back and didn't buy any physical media today is a good day my local hmv is finally back yay and i've saved my birthday money especially for this day we're going to head off to stains upon thames we're going to look around stains we're going to go in a few shops we're going to have a coffee and we're going to go into that hmv that brand new hmv to take a look and see what it's actually like i'm sure as you all know it's probably got smaller but we will find out when we get to Staines. Okay, let's jump in the car and head off to Staines. It's a beautiful morning here in Staines upon Thames. The sun is shining brightly. It's the end of November and the sun's out. I haven't even got a coat on. It's just so warm. Down on the riverside, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the river before we head off into Staines Centre. Staines itself, it does have plenty of shops, lots of good shops, but not many places to buy physical media as most towns and cities these days so today's plan we're going to head off into cex we're also going to go into muffin break and get that kermit's ghost shot we're also going to go to primark and last of all we're going to save that brand new hmv we're going to take a look in there show you around really looking forward to that my only concern is i know they have downsized because the last hmv in stains was huge this time it is a lot smaller, but at least it's back and now I can buy physical media in stains. I know they do have an upstairs as well, so it might not be that small. Okay, let me show you around stains.
right, first shop, CEX. Let's do a little bit of window shopping and go inside. Got the Exorcist for six pounds, not a bad price, and a razor head for 10 pounds. Nice cover on that Black Panther and Battle Royale for six pounds. The Arrow Special Edition of Crash in perfect condition, £12. This one does look good, but too pricey. The same with this Beatles Get Back Edition, £28. But it does look a good set. Ooh, Ella, I'm not too sure what that title is from 88 Films on the bottom there. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., this is in fantastic condition, £6. And a silly one on the end there, Tarantula. Right, let's head into the Elmsley Centre. And into Primani. First up are these Grinch pyjamas. You can get matching set for the whole family. We got some ladies Christmas jumpers and outfits. Some Disney stuff to hang on the Christmas tree. A Mandalorian wooden calendar with some Star Wars stuff. I'm not too sure what that group does. And a PlayStation controller alarm clock. Let's head off into the men's section. We've got this Grinch Christmas jumper. Now this Deadpool Christmas jumper does look pretty cool. The hoodies are pretty good in Christmas colours. We've got a green Garfield and a red Homer Simpson holding a donut. At the bottom there we have a Bart Simpson Christmas jumper. I don't go too much on this Grinch black Christmas jumper. Black Panther and Groot toys. These do look so warm, just in time for the winter. You can still get these Hellfire jumpers at £10. And there's a Marvel t-shirt at the top. Over into the American football section, still no Dallas Cowboys. Okay, time for a coffee. Just popped into a muffin break, as you saw the Kermit's ghost shot. I've gone for a nice hot latte. Stacey's gone for hot chocolate with fresh creams and marshmallow on top. Also, both went for the same muffin as well, the winter berry muffin. New for Christmas, so let's give it a try. It's got that cinnamon flavor with cranberry berries inside. Very nice. And wash it down with a coffee. Cheers. It's a very exciting day for those who collect physical media. Behind me is the brand new H&B in Staines. Let's go inside and look round. First impressions, it's definitely smaller. Almost a whole wall of Funko Pops. And these ET Funkos are pretty cool. They've got some Batman mugs. Over to the new films, Top Gun Maverick, we've got Jordan Peele's Nope. And Beast is on two for 25, not a bad price. Full. Quick look at the new TV, we've got Euphoria. Got 
Star Trek and Westworld and Halo. Let's go and take a quick look at the t-shirts because the artwork is getting better and better. Look at the Joker. I did like these water bottles, Harry Potter's and the Batman ones there, but $23.99, that's quite expensive. Right, let's go over to the 4K section. And as you can see, I did this shot because that is it for the 4Ks. It's not that big at all. As you can see in the collector's editions, that's things like Arrow and 88 films. We've got a good selection in this HMV. just wondering where the music is of course they have an upstairs let's pop into the lift don't forget to wave a bit more quieter up here there is the complete music section And those were the stairs I came down. Over to the Crazy Deals HMV sale. We've got the Back to the Future Trilogy is $49.99 minus at 25%. The Fast and the Furious 8 movie collection. And we've got Captain America and there's also Harry Potter next door. I've just spotted these Funkos. How cool are those carries? <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the figure section. We've got Pennywise the Clown. There's Gizmo there. I did like this Texas Chainsaw Massacre figure. Anyone wants to get me a Christmas present? There you go. Jason Baldi's Michael Myers. I'm only joking. Right, time to go home. We have made it back home. So the big question you're probably thinking, Carl, what did you think of your brand new HMV? To be honest, I thought it was really good. It has downsized, although there is an upstairs as well. I'll get onto that bit in a minute. It was really, really busy, which was great to see, especially when I was leaving, probably because people knew I was filming in there, or maybe they were trying to avoid me as well. I don't know. But when I was leaving, it did get really busy. But I did manage to get everything I wanted to get. I don't forget I've been saving for a few months now because I haven't bought anything and I managed to pick up everything I wanted which is what you want to do when you go shopping basically so I can't complain about that side of things there's lots of different merchandise in that HMV as well my only probably probably complaint would be I didn't think there was enough 4ks but apart from that it was really good. Upstairs, you had your turntables, your vinyls, all your music sort of stuff. Downstairs was, like I say, merchandise and the movie side of things. But I did actually think it was a very good HMV, and I really do hope it continues to be busy to keep it open, basically. Oh, uh, home sweet home. Now to watch some TV. So what did we actually buy on our shopping trip? Well, apart from loads of Christmas wrapping paper, I did manage to spend all my birthday money. We got nine titles in total, including two 4K. So we're gonna get through these nine titles and show you what's inside, and then I will say goodbye to you guys. Okay, so let's start with CEX. The first title I picked up from CEX is a movie that I haven't seen for years, and it is a classic. The Exorcist. I think this is a really good addition for £6. Inside it comes with two discs with different artwork on each of them. 
And that's the movie The Exorcist from CEX, price £6. Let's hope this sticker comes off. It does come off, which is good to see as well. Okay, moving on to h &B. This is the big one where I spent all my money. What did I actually buy? The first thing I picked up was Pennywise, the story of it. Let's open this one up. Inside, we got some nice artwork of Pennywise the Clown on the disc. And we also get this poster with the same artwork as the disc. And that's Pennywise, the story of it. The next title I picked up was a Jordan Peele movie. Nope. Comes with a slip cover. Inside. And there is artwork on the Blu-ray. And that's the movie, Nope. The next title I picked up was Fisherman's Friends, One and All. Let's open this one up. Inside. There's not really much artwork on the disc. It's like a dark blue sea feel. And that's the movie Fisherman's Friends 1 and All. Really looking forward to giving this one a go. I didn't see this one at the cinema and I have seen the original first movie, which I thought was pretty good. So looking forward to giving this one a go. The next movie I picked up was a 4K. Really looking forward to giving this one another try, especially in 4K. Let's take a closer look. So we are getting a slip cover with this 4K. It's a nice glossy slip cover. Inside are two discs. So there's no artwork on the discs, but it does pass because they are Christmassy colours. We've got the red 4K and the green for Blu-ray. And that's the movie National Lapoon's Christmas Vacation, obviously starring Chevy Chase. The next movie I picked up was another 4K. Raw Deal starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's open this one up. So this one comes with a slip cover. Inside we get advertising and it comes with two discs. We're getting the 4K and the standard Blu-ray, but this is disappointing. I don't like it when they do this. It's very lazy. You have the same artwork on both discs. And that's the movie Raw Deal. Not too sure if I've actually seen this one before. I'm sure my dad has probably seen it. Whether I watched it with him, I can't really remember. So I'm really looking forward to giving this one a watch. The next movie I picked up from HMV was Fall. It's just standard inside. We do get nice artwork on the disc. I reckon with this film, you're gonna need a head for heights watching this one. And that's the movie, Fall. There's two cuts in here. Really looking forward to giving this one a first time watch. I've heard mixed reviews about it. It's all going open-minded when I watch this for the very first time. The next movie I picked up was a movie starring Idris Elba. And it is... Beast. It's another movie I didn't see at the cinema. My wife did, my friends did, but I didn't. So let's open this one up. Inside, as you would expect, it's just standard. And we are getting the same artwork as the cover on the Blu-ray disc. And that one is the movie called Beast. Looking forward to giving this one a first time watch as well. Now the last movie I picked up, I was at the checkout, you know when you get them reduced, so I had to pick this one up. Matilda. Let's take a look at this one inside. Inside, same as the others, pretty standard. And we have nice colourful artwork on the Blu-ray. And that's one of the classic movies, Matilda, for $4.99. You can't complain at that price. Those were all the pickups I picked up from my trip to Staines today please do get involved in the comments i'd love to know what's your thoughts on that hmv did you like it did you think it's quite good 
What's my thoughts on the pickups? Did you like the pickups? What have you picked up recently? That sort of thing. Get involved in those comments. I'd love to get back to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this shopping trip to Staines. I don't normally do these sort of videos, but because it was a brand new HMV, I had to really. A few people were asking to show you guys around that store. So that's what I've tried to do in the best possible way I can. Thank you so much guys, take care. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe if you can. Thank you so much, see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.